Okay. Um, another topic the president's been tweeting about is essentially the market sell-off. He said earlier that the only problem the economy has these days is the Federal Reserve. Let's bring Jonathan Honig in on that and add more. What do you think, Jonathan? Well, I think it's creating, it's, it's frankly, Connell, it's adding fuel to the fire of what is one of the ugliest tapes that is stock market tapes I've seen in years. Mm -hmm. This is a bear market. We have been talking about it for months. Yes. More than half the stocks. And, and so when By you way, see Jonathan, the president start, when tweets, you say ugly tape, what, you, you just yeah. mean the price action moving lower. Tell us what you mean, ugly tape. Exactly. Well, today is a perfect example. About 1,500 stocks, Connell, at new 52-week lows. Five, literally five stocks at new 52-week highs. This simply means that the trend for many, many stocks continues to be down. Just even today, Ford, Apple, International Paper, JetBlue, Wynn mm -hmm. Casinos. So, you know, stock markets are not erratic. They tend to move in trends. You even talked about this massive move down in oil. Yep. That's occurred over basically a number of months since October. So we've just seen all aspects of class is getting pummeled in the last couple of months, and the president's tweets, in my opinion, are not helping that one bit. Adding to the uncertainty, right? So, the, so yeah. where is there a point? And look, I thought, you know, earlier today it looked like maybe we were getting close to a point where people say, all right, this is ridiculous. Um, Price-wise, there's some huge bargains out there, great American companies that are essentially on sale, but it does and never seem to kind of catch on. So why, yeah. why is that the case? Yeah, no. Yeah, the, the dips have not been bought. And right. one of the good, I guess you should say, bullish indicators, Connor, you could say, is that VIX index. We talk about it all the time. This is the index that tracks basically how much investors are paying for protection against the stock market dropping. Now, the fact that that is a five-year high, you say, well, that's, is that good that people are very scared? Ironically, it's good because that tends to, not always, but tends to mark more of the end of a move. Once people start to get very uh, scared, the, the move has already been made. But I, I have to say, kind of just so many extraneous factors, even beyond the markets right now. We, we mentioned the tweets are one of them. And the, you know, the shutdown is, is uh, another, I think. Oftentimes, it really? hasn't had a major impact. Right, it doesn't usually Oftentimes matter that it, much for markets. Yeah, but, but yeah. I mean... Sure, sure. I mean, it, generally, the market doesn't tend to react too much. But, you know, the, the old Republicans would shut down the market or shut down the government to stop spending. We have Republicans now who want to shut down the government so that we keep spending. And debt really is at the center of a lot of what I'm seeing here. Junk bonds, Connell, corporate mm -hmm. bonds getting absolutely annihilated here. So well, why, this it, is a it, tough it, time it, to it's be It's interesting. And maybe it is the tweets and, and the other, you know, or the Treasury call or whatever it may be. But the good news I guess this is sort of the point you're making, Jonathan, but the good news, if it was out there, is it's essentially getting ignored, right? I mean, you could come in today, I tried to make this point earlier, and say, well, the big stories, hey, we have retail sales look pretty good, or, and uh, you know what? Maybe we're making some progress with China. They say they're going to cut some tariffs next year, and um, you know, they said that there's progress being made on the, on the Chinese side in the talks, but th nobody's talking about that. Connell, your boss doesn't call you on Sunday just because everything's okay. You know, the fact so that's that what Secretary people are freaked Mnuchin, out about. That's what people are freaked out yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, without question. You know, it, 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 for me, it brings me back basically to the midst of the crisis in 2008. You didn't see really terribly erratic markets until government started getting involved. And you might remember, remember the no short sale list for a while. Government had a list of stocks that you were not permitted to sell short. Right. So the more yes. we see government, Steve Mnuchin, the plunge protection team getting involved to kind of, you know, uh, fix markets, I think the more you'll see people unwilling to step in and buy, especially now in prices. Yeah, we've are been lower. all been trying to figure out what's, what was going on with that call. I mean, we've been told, Treasury's told us over and over that it was just quote unquote preemptive. It was a lot of volatility last week he wanted to get out ahead and try to be maybe they, I don't know maybe I'm just speculating maybe they were worried if he did make this call that it would get leaked so they wanted to get it out but it is puzzling of why you would go public with a call like that right and, and, and the banks, really, I mean, this, this started basically in October, the, the sell-off, and we were talking quite extensively, kind of, you remember, about the FANG stocks. Yes. Oh, is it going to be the FANG? And it, it has spread. It's spread from technology to, to healthcare, energy in particular, and the banks have just been decimated, one of the weakest but areas this year. do they have year, problems, so. like real structural problems, like Mnuchin was apparently calling about, and they tell them, no, we got plenty of money to lend, we have liquidity's okay. Was, was that something you were worried about before this call? 
Well, I, I, have, I have seen it manifest in price action, Connell. I mean, take a look at, for example, JNK. This is the ETF, the exchange traded fund, that just basically gets a sense of what are junk bonds doing. They've been right. thrown out. Uh, leveraged loans have been thrown out. So I, I do fear, and I, and I guess I'm not a Cassandra here, and the market certainly could bounce, but I fear that the news of what's behind this massive sell off, particularly in banks, and perhaps uh, Mr. Mnuchin's call as well, hasn't yet hit the tape. I don't hmm. know if it's a crisis, I don't know if it's a liquidity shock, but Something is very wrong when it comes to the banking sector in Interesting. this country. Interesting. Well, we're all thinking about it now, for better or worse, after yeah. the uh, the weekend. Yeah. Have a good one, Jonathan. Thank you, sir, for coming on. Appreciate all the Merry time. Merry Christmas. As, Thank as you. As always.